we are basically in the construction chemical industry broadly saying. So we make products going into the construction industry. So we have two companies that we run under uh, MYK brand. One is MYK Latequid, which is a joint venture with an American company, where we make tile adhesives, tile grouts, skim coats, all the finishing materials that go into installing a tile or a store, be it a industry, be it an external facade, be it a bathroom, anywhere you want a tile or a stone. So we have a product going for that. And the other brand is called MYK Armament, uh, where we have a joint venture with a German company, where we make the entire range of construction chemicals. Once excavation starts, we have waterproofing chemicals for the basement, for the terrace, podium, the repair motors, admixtures going into concrete, all the flooring products going into pharma, food and beverage plants. In short, this is our, our whole product portfolio. And uh, anybody building a house, industry, um, we will be, be needing our products and we hope they use our products. The USP at MYK, I would say, is uh, we have our eyes and ears on the ground. We like to listen to our customer, be it an architect, a builder, a dealer, or an internal colleague. We like to listen to them and bring about products and services that meet their aspirations. That's our biggest USP, I would say, in this industry. But having said that, uh, when you mentioned about uh, MYK Latiqui, we are the leaders in this segment uh, in this country. We created this segment and we are driving this segment. So our biggest competition is traditional methods. We are fighting the traditional methods, how to get over the traditional methods and bring in better products to install a tile or a stone. And when you come to the construction chemical space, yes, India uses construction chemicals and there have been a lot of companies been here for decades. But the usage has only picked up in the last 10 or 15 years, 10 years to be precise. And with the great of growth the industry is having in terms of the infrastructure this country needs, be it roads, bridges, or buildings, the need to use better products to make it more sustainable, make it more lasting, more make it more green, I think there's a huge opportunity out there. I think, I don't know when the tipping point is, but we hope it will be very quick. And, uh, and uh, I think today only a very small percentage of tiles and stones use an adhesive to fix it. And when we started, it was almost negligible. But today, all large buildings, be it an airport, be it a good industrial house, be it a, a good residential building, use only adhesive to, to fix a tile or a stone. So we've been able to change the industry quite a bit in the last, last decade or so. So, but going forward, I would think the market is huge. I mean, the kind of tiles and stones that India consumes. And at one point, I think, I'm, I'm sure it will be five years away. I think uh, that's going to be a huge uh, big for the industry and also for the consumers because they're going to have a quality product. Today when you install a tile or a stone, uh, the consumer is always confused because a mason buys cement, sand, he mixes it on site. Today you can decide what kind of adhesive do you want. You, you could take a, a 15 rupee a kg adhesive or 50 rupee or 100 rupee kg based on the strengths that you like, what tile are you using, where are you using. So, I think this industry is going through a sea change, and um, and we've been the four, you know, torch bearers in trying to educate, uh, be it uh, architects or a mason or a dealer or a builder, and we will continue to do that. I think a clear vision and ability to inspire. If I have to pick two things, I think these are the key for a successful leader clear vision to the company and then inspire the team to, to reach there. And, and obviously there's so many other factors that you need to put in place, uh, you know, like these qualities are very, very important. Your, your value system is very important, which I think will go a long way in building a good leader or a good company. I think it has been a dream run. I think I have never imagined I could have such a when I started, uh, as, I, as you said, you know, there were a lot of challenges. I think uh, there was not a day, I think I would be lying if I'd said, uh, did I choose the right thing to do? I mean, you know, all my, after my graduation, all my classmates went to America and I was the guy, after getting an admission, didn't go, trying to start something. And it was a hard one, it was a hard one. I, I, I worked, uh, we needed to go to every architect. I used to go uh, two-wheeler selling the product. 
building step by step by always knew what we wanted to give. We wanted to have the customer's interests were always on top of our mind. And I think uh, it has been a fantastic journey. I, we, today, I think we're very proud for what we have created. And today we are about, you know, we have eight factories, 1,000 people, 3,000 dealers. This is a dream come true, and uh, I can't imagine doing anything else. To me, I think uh, I'm a very highly delegated leader. I build teams as I go across, and when I, as I said, when I started, I used to do all the functions myself. And as every step, we have empowered our team. We've built systems, processes. I truly believe having the right people and process builds a great company. So delegation, empowering people, creating a platform for them to enjoy their work. These are some of my leadership skills.